Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today, in this video, you will learn about credentials business object. In this business object, you will learn how to generate password. You will learn how to generate random strong password. A strong password means more than 10 characters of that password that can have uppercase, lowercase, numeric values, additional characters like special characters, comma, semicolon, has, at the rate, like that. So by using these characters, these values, you can create, you can generate a random password. Now let me show you how to generate the random password. So to call any action of the business object, you need to use action stage. So double click on that. Right here, generate password and select here credentials internal business object from here select generate password now this generate password we are going to use to generate random strong password I am going to take here length is 15 because in your companies mostly I have seen or you will have also seen 15 characters the length of the password is 15 now you need to pass any other value at least like uppercase lowercase or numbers then you can generate your password if you just pass your num like this length then that will not work at least you need to pass some of the things here now these three will accept flag it means boolean value true or false and additional character will accept your special characters now to make a strong password you need to take here true as a uppercase so it means your password will have uppercase also and then it will have small letter also like lowercase and then you can also use numerics so if you are passing numerics value also in your password so that will be a strong value and also pass additional characters like at the rate comma exclamatory sign exclamatory at the rate has dollar percentage pass like this now go to output click on this so it will store in the password data item here now click ok now this is your password link this now reset this right click set next stage and now you can see here we have 15 characters of password length of this password is 15 and here you are not able to see because our data type is password if you change that text then you will able to see that so let me show you so currently our password this data item type is text now let me right click set next stage and then you can see here this is your password that is y and all these things is here with the numbers uppercase and lowercase everything is there in in your password so by this way you can generate a random password and you can use this in your application now you will be asking why do we need to generate a random password here so there are two types of password application that take credentials first we pass static password second we pass dynamic password static password means your application will have fixed password that will not change right let's say your application is just taking password as a admin123 so that will be static password now dynamic password means your password will be changed after 45 days or 30, 30 days like that so in that scenario what happens you have used environment variables in that someone has access to change the password so they can go and randomly write something to change the password and then your bot will access that credential there that password and enter to that now if your client says your manager says that do not wait for client 
just write one step to generate the random password and update your password there and then use that password right so it happens in the in your website your password will be changed after 30 days and then you will reset you will follow some steps it will go reset the password or like change the password you will enter the previous like current password and you will enter the new password so while entering the new password you will first take here this step you will generate the password the random password and you will update this generated a strong password you will update to the new password and the same password you, you will update to the re-enter password text box and now that will be your current password after that once you set new password so this is the use of generate password i hope you like this one if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video